Zapier Tables is more than just a spreadsheet, but what does that look like? I'm gonna show you a use case today that hopefully will paint the picture a little bit better for you. So let's imagine your team has been jotting down FAQs in a Google Sheet. So something just like this. Let's take this, import it into Tables, and then do some things you can't do anywhere else. We'll create a chatbot that uses the data as a knowledge source, and we're gonna add an AI field to enrich the data. So let me show you. Back in tables, I can easily import data from a list of different places. We're gonna choose that Google Sheet. I'll choose my account, and then that product FAQ. Then I'll click next. And we're just gonna pull in questions and answers. That part was easy. The first thing I wanna show you is the ability to create a chatbot with this FAQ as a knowledge source. Now chatbots can be deployed on your website. You can embed them anywhere that your customers or visitors might interact with them. So this would be perfect for a landing page where visitors need to learn about your product. When we go over into chatbots and we see the instructions, we can see that product FAQ is synced up as a knowledge source. So we can ask it something like, how do you set up a Zap? And it's gonna pull directly from that table that has all of the questions and answers already in it. Awesome. Now, when we go back into tables, what else can we do here? It's special. There's one thing I love doing, which is adding an AI field that automatically goes through and can enrich the data for you. So maybe we want a category. We'll just add a new field called category and then choose AI field. From there, you can create a quick prompt. What we'll do is just start from scratch. The prompt's simply gonna be, please categorize these FAQs under one of the following categories. Basic, advanced, admin. Here is the question. And then you just map in the field that represents the question. Here is the answer. Awesome, there we have it. We'll click done. And now that we've set up the AI field, we click create and it's gonna categorize all of these fields automatically for you. Awesome. That's just one of many things you could do inside of tables. Be sure to jump in and explore more.